Hey guys, Daryl Shergan, Quest for Vape. I want to talk about nickel, the metal, and temperature control. Do not vape nickel in anything other than temperature control. Don't vape it in wattage mode. And another thing, don't pulse those nickel coils. Don't make them glow. Okay, here's what's going on. The influx of temperature control devices now make it possible for less than 100 bucks, less than $70, to buy one of these uh one of these mods and now vape on nickel and so all the tank manufacturers are making coils with nickel ni200 is what i'm talking about I'm not talking about nichrome ni80 which is an alloy with other metals i'm talking about uh, ni200 99 percent pure nickel it's a soft metal which allows it to heat up with low wattage and low power and low and it's a low resistance metal but what happens is uh, above a certain temperature, it becomes toxic, okay? That's why you have devices with temperature control because they're reading and monitoring and they don't allow you to vape above a certain temperature. The device just stops firing. It hits temperature and then it stops, okay? That's a protection feature to keep you from vaping on a metal that, uh, that if it gets to certain temperatures is gonna release toxins. So now what I see happening is people have uh, a tank with a nickel coil and they put it on a regulated device that's not temperature control and this will vape a point one. This will vape a point one build in, in on a coil. It doesn't have temperature control. So now you can take that thing up 700, 800, 900 degrees. It's going to be hot, but you might be vaping on it. It might be giving off toxins. I don't know what the exact threshold is. I don't know. But what I do want to tell you is conceptually, don't vape nickel on anything other than temperature control. And another thing, when you're doing an RDA build, I did a video on our, how to build for nickel. Um, and I mentioned in there, don't pulse those coils. You do not need to, there's no, you don't treat it like you treat canthol. Okay, when you're doing the wraps, they're spaced. So there's no hot spot. So it never needs to be pulsed. It never needs to be heated up. If that metal glows red, uh, it oxidizes and a powder forms on the surface that is not healthy to vape. And I've watched this happen in front of me. And I've been like, you shouldn't do that. And people are like, no, I do it all the time. I know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing, but I'm not going to get into a fight with you right there at a vape shop or somewhere. But I do want to put out a video because that's what I do. If I see some stupid bullshit going on and some misconceptions and some ignorance being repeated and passed on, uh, I'm going to put it on a rant on YouTube. And that's what my channel's for. So, like, you don't torch the the wire like you would with canthol oh it makes it more it's it's fucking nickel wire it's soft as butter anyway you don't need to torch it um there's no reason that you should need to get hot spots out okay here's what else is going on um you do the build and then you wick it and you juice it and then there's no oxygen touching that metal and when you're going to clean those, don't clean those coils pulsing them and then go vape on them again. Take the build out, do another build. Don't be lazy. I mean, it's just, it's going to be a problem. You got RTAs that are very sophisticated now, and you can build some, some pretty nice builds on them, and you can use nickel, and you can use titanium. But again, temperature control is there to protect you from vaping on a, a metal at higher temperatures than is safe. What those temperatures are, I'm not here to tell you. I'm here to tell you, don't, don't go firing that tank. Uh, and even I forget sometimes, did I have a nickel coil in here? Did I not? Okay, so some of the manufacturers now put like a blue O-ring or it comes in a blue box, the coils. Or they say it on, they should say it on there, but they don't always. And then not all the manufacturers are, are sticking with the same color code. So just know what you're doing. If, you're, if you've got nickel coils, you have to have them on a nickel uh, on a temperature control tank. Um, there is danger in vaping on that. It's not going to kill you this second. You may not know. You may not see any, any signs of it. You may not taste it. You may just be obliviously vaping and go, wow, the, the, the flavor tastes great on this nickel. In wattage mode, it's hazardous to your health. That's my message. I want you to be careful. I want you to be cautious. I want you to educate yourself about what you're doing. If you're going to dabble with nickel, make sure you have a temperature control device that works, that's good, that's reliable, and that you have the temperature setting. Uh, you have it in temperature control when you vape it. Some box mods will read that nickel and not let you vape in regular wattage mode, but not all of them. And some regulated mods 
don't know about temperature control, and they're not going to, it's not going to differentiate. It's just going to fire. If this thing will fire the building, you've got nickel on there, you're potentially putting yourself in harm's way. Um, it happened to me. A friend of mine said, oh, yeah, you, you, when you're doing an RDA build, you just pulse the coils like you would normally. No, you fucking don't. That's toxic vapor. Um, you, you don't even want to be using those coils after they've, they, if, if they ever glow red, you don't want to use them anymore. Rip that shit out. It's ten dollars for a spool of a thirty foot spool of nickel wire. Just, just, you know, what are you going to save? A couple of dollars worth of metal, a couple of cents worth of metal. So, you, you know, reusing them. We were just talking about this. Um, a bunch of us vapors, some new, some seasoned, and people were like, "What? You can't vape nickel in normal wattage mode?" And it's like friends of mine didn't know that. So I wanted to put the message out. I hope that message is clear. I hope this wasn't too much of a rant. And listen, I'm not trying to scare you and say stay away from nickel. I'm trying to say do it safely. Do it on a temperature control mod, which is what these are designed for. And the only reason that nickel exists at all on the market is because of these regulated devices that you can set a maximum temperature. Okay? That's Quest for Vape weighing in on the subject.